welcome to week two of marathon training. So week two, the plan is to do 71 kilometers this week. So we started off yesterday, seven kilometers, nice and easy, that ends up being a treadmill at the gym. And then today we're on the 12K route, the hilly option. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll do the five by one mile repeats. That will end up being 14 kilometers. Thursday, we'll take off. Friday, 11 kilometers easy. And then at the weekend, the long run will be 27 kilometers. First half easy, second half steady. As you can see, it's a chilly one this morning. Zero degrees, so we're all layered up. Keeping this run nice and easy, keeping that heart rate 140s maximum. Ideally more in the 130s. Let's see what the average is like when we're done. All done for today then. So that was 13 kilometers, nice hilly route, averaging 529 pace with an average heart rate, nice and low this time, 131, 176 meters of elevation gain. So yeah, all feeling good. Good thing as well is the right foot is all feeling good for tomorrow as well. So we'll crack on with the speed session five by one mile repeat tomorrow. And yesterday, that was the seven kilometers on the treadmill, 527 average pace, 129 average heart rate. So I don't take too much notice of the heart rate on the treadmill, but it's always much easier. After the treadmill, I did a gym session for about 20 minutes. I may have to revise some of the exercises that I do because uh, the barbell squats where you put them on the sort of top of your back and your shoulder there I think might be aggravating my neck. So uh, we may just have to revert to the sort of single leg exercises uh, which I don't particularly enjoy or like but uh, needs must. So six o'clock in the evening, Wednesday and we're out. Finally, on the five by one mile repeats. Today we're going to be doing them at a threshold pace, which today is around 4.08 per kilometer. Just out on the warm up now, done about two and a half kilometers of warm up, and then at three kilometers we'll jump straight into the mile repeats. Sorry for the noise, we're doing it on the lit up route uh, now that it's dark but it also means it's busy with traffic. Yeah, it's a shame I didn't get out earlier at lunchtime. I had this 30 minute window to actually get out so as I could make it back in time for my afternoon meetings and I just didn't make it. Hence, we're out now. Better late than never. This, I guess, is just what happens when you're marathon training and if you need to get the miles in and the runs in, you don't make it, you've got to find a way to get it done. At least tomorrow there's a rest day. Anyway, let's do these repeats. I'm expecting this first one to be nice and easy as it's downhill, but it also means the fifth one will be coming back up that hill, which will be harder than usual. So let's see how we get on. The other thing to bear in mind is, this is now my fourth run in a row, four runs in four days. Ideally, I don't really want to be doing that. Three at the most, which is why today, just a threshold effort. Right, three kilometers done. We can now end the warm up and get into the laps. Right, first mile done. I actually don't know what pace that was. Still got the auto lap on on one kilometers. Got the first kilometer, I think 4.16. And then the last 600 meters was two minutes, 
24. So it's 90 seconds float, 90 second recovery, and then we'll go again. Just gonna work out a route as well still, because with it being an odd number of repeats, I don't wanna get halfway through a mile and then just turn around. I'd rather do it at the floats. That's what I get for not thinking about this in advance. Oh, here we go. We've got to go again. <laughs> Rep two. Second rep done, second float. Again, don't know, but the first K was definitely 408. And there or thereabout, for the last point six. So, little jog, before we do it all again. Number three. Oh. Rep three done. 408 again, by the looks of it. I've just discovered Garmin watches seem to do a countdown beep. That's what, three, two, one, before the next rep. Not noticed that before. Maybe that's because I listen to music most of the time, but today I'm not. I don't want to step over. It's pretty cold tonight, so I'm focusing on that. Right, 20 seconds to go. Heart rate got up to 171, I saw on the last rep. Managed to get it down to 151 only now. 150. There we are. There we go. Two reps left. Four reps done, a little fast that one. One more left, but it's the hardest. I did see the heart rate creep to 175 there. Got it back down to 170, 171. Which is kind of the max of what I'm looking for. 30 seconds to go, and we're only down to 157 heart rate. 152. All right, here we go again. Last rep. Done. That was hard up the hill. I just slow a little. I put the paces on. I think it was a little bit slower up the hill. It's time to jog back. Do a little cool down now. Get some water. Get some food. Right, all done. No, it's a bit dark. I put the stats up on the screen. So it's 15.3 kilometers that run was so actually a kilometer more than I uh, calculated 455 average pace average heart rate of 152 uh, I, like I said I'll put the paces of the different splits up on the screen now so all feeling good 
and we just look forward to the rest day tomorrow, which means now we have a shorter day on Friday, which is even better preparation for the long run on Saturday. Good morning, it's uh, Friday and I've just got back from a 10 kilometer run, uh, averaging 5.18 pace and 1.35 average heart rate. Legs feeling a bit tired today, a bit heavy. Need to just rest and recover today because really I want to go tomorrow if possible for the long run so that I've got Sunday to recover ready for next week. Good morning, we are back again on the dual carriageway. It's 6.30 in the morning, still pitch black. We're about four kilometers into this long run. And now I've got to get myself over to this petrol station over here. Plan is to hide it in a bush. I'm gonna be passing this particular point four times on the route today practicing some hydration. But first, let me just cross over this road. Good morning, Saturday morning. Check out this beautiful sunrise and sky this morning. Today then we're on a 27 kilometre long run. We're about 12 kilometres into that so far. We're gonna do the first half easy and the second half steady. Steady pace today is 4.50. Now, I'm not a morning person. It doesn't take much for me to change my mind of getting up early doing something like this. I ended up leaving the house this morning, did my warm-up, dynamic stretches, about to start the run, and realised I've got my watch, so I went back home for the watch, and I started the run, and then as soon as I started the run, then I realised the heart rate wasn't right, so the heart rate strap wasn't connected via Bluetooth, so I had to stop the run, about a kilometre in, tried to restart it, Bluetooth didn't want to cooperate, so I turned off the watch, it takes about three minutes to restart this watch, this Garmin watch. But isn't that sky worth it? So what I did is checked out the marathon route map. This year's isn't available yet. But I checked out last year's, there's water stations every five-ish kilometers. There's eight water stations over the course. So I've picked a route that will include some laps of about five and a half K, six K each. So that's why I went and got some water earlier on to hide it in a bush on that lap. So as I keep passing it and can practice hydration. Also this run, I am taking four gels. See how we get on with four gels. Three was fine last week we squeeze in another one. Again, the plan is to take every 30 minutes, this time starting at 20 minutes. So annoyingly, I've restarted the run, but of course everything's off by a kilometre and a bit, which means gels are now at 15 minutes, 45 minutes, one hour 15, etc. We're into the 14th kilometre now, so we now need to start getting some 450s in.
5k then into this steady effort. So I've gone 452, 452, 448, 448, and that last one, which was 443. So a little quick, but heart rate, even with that quick one, is around 155. Good signs. All right, that's 13K steady done. So now, just easy for the last bit. Very nice indeed. That is 27.3 kilometers. That was 5.04 average pace, so really nice and an average heart rate of 146. Yeah, so really pleased with that. It's quarter to nine in the morning and we're all done. So now we can spend the rest of the weekend with the family. And the gels actually, oh, they were, went down really well. So really pleased with them. Got four gels in, no problem. With the last gel I had, that was a single packet and that opened fine but there was just a tiny little gap for the gel to come out. It didn't come out freely. But that's just something to bear in mind. This is why you practice these things. Good afternoon, it's Sunday. We're just heading off to the gym for the last little strength session for this week. This week's been a really good week. Things are back on plan. I managed to get in 71.6 kilometers this week and the Tanda race predictor has me down for a three hours 25 19 seconds marathon prediction this is on crplots.com by the way the net heart rate efficiency is 1.365 meters per beat it's averaged over the last eight weeks the garmin race predictor now has me down for a marathon prediction of three hours 15 minutes and 10 seconds looking forward to next week we're going to have more kilometers in next week and we're going to be away from home doing some of these kilometers. If you managed to get this far into the video, thanks so much for watching.